Mặc dù rất thích mùa hè nhưng Trang cũng cực yêu tiết trời kiểu này vì có thể diện đồ len thỏa thích Cộng với việc không ra mồ hôi nữa nên lớp make up càng bền hơn thì Trong video này Trang sẽ gợi ý các bạn một vài kiểu mix đồ đơn giản vừa có thể đi học và đi chơi mà mình hay áp dụng nhé Vì ban ngày trời nắng nên không bị quá lạnh, mình vẫn có thể diện áo len kết hợp cùng váy mà không cần đi tắt luôn Không biết các bạn thì sao chứ mình chỉ cần giữ ấm nửa thân trên thôi là cả người không sợ lạnh nữa rồi <cười> Đây là cái áo len từ Soda Pop Việt Nam mà Trang đang rất là mê Thứ nhất là vì em ý có thể kết hợp với váy dài, váy ngắn, quần dài, quần sóc Mà mỗi kiểu trông lại khác nhau nữa Thứ hai, cái này bất ngờ này Bạn có thể lội mặt kia ra và bỗng chốc nó trở thành một cái áo mới toanh khác Trời ơi, quá kinh tế, quá sáng tạo ý Mình rất thích mặc cổ lọ nhưng phải là kiểu cổ đổ chứ không được quá sát, sợ ngứa và khó thở ý. Áo này thoạt nhìn thì thấy ấm hơn nhưng thực chất lại không hề dày hơn đâu. Rất thích hợp với thời tiết xe lạnh và buổi chiều tối. Kiểu áo này cũng khá dễ phối đồ và hôm nay thì Trang chọn quần bò, rách gối và sneaker. Nếu là bạn thì bạn sẽ chọn gì vậy? Cuối cùng là style mà Trang hay áp dụng nhất. Mình siêu thích áo khoác dài hay là cardigan vì có thể dễ dàng mặc vào, cởi ra, điều chỉnh theo nhiệt độ trong ngày. Thường lớp học ở trường bật sưởi rất là ấm, thế nên mình cũng không cần trang bị một cái áo len quá dày làm gì cả. Chỉ cần một bạn áo len mỏng bên trong và áo khoác ngoài là xong thôi. Hy vọng các bạn thích video lần này và tìm được thêm một vài sự gợi ý nho nhỏ để phối đồ nhé. <cười> Nhớ like và subscribe để xem các video tiếp theo từ trang nha. Yêu các bạn, bye bye! If you don't have any nail art tools. In this tutorial, I'll show you five amazing designs which you can make using things you already have at home. Nail art tools can be super useful when making creations on your nails, but today we'll manage without them. Hey loves, it's time for another nail art tutorial and guess what? It's a no tool one. Well, we will be using tools, but only the ones that you can find around your house. So we're making five beautiful designs that are super easy to make and look amazeballs. Don't you agree? Well, if you do, here's how you can get them too. Sponges, tapes, band-aids, pencils, pens, straws, q-tips, matches, toothpicks, nails, screws, wires, paper pins and much more. All that can be used to make fantastic nail art designs. I'll show you five of them now, so let's get started. Before applying the polish, you have to protect your pretty nails with a base coat. This will help you keep them healthy and stain-free. First, let's make this adorable baby penguin design. Baby penguin's fur is light grey, while adults are black. But I'm making a fantasy penguin, so I went for the blue base. Take a white polish and draw half of an oval on the bottom half of your nail. Now we need to make some bigger dots and pins will help us out here. These are great for pinning paper on a cork board, but they will work perfectly as dotting tools too. I like to pin them in an eraser of a pencil so that they're easier to hold. Then I just use them as a regular dotting tool. Dip it in white and make two large dots. Inside make two smaller black ones using smaller pins. Here I'm using a pencil to make two little white dots and then a construction nail to make two even smaller ones. I am in love with the anime inspired eyes. So adorable! All we got left to do is a small triangle for the beak and two legs on the tip of the nail. All this using a yellow polish and a pencil. Apply a generous amount of the fast drying top coat to seal the design and add some shine. Isn't this the cutest penguin you've ever seen? Who doesn't like minions, right? Well, I love them, so I had to make a minion nail design. 
I'm starting with white as a base. You're probably thinking, what the heck, minions are yellow. <laughs> no worries. I started with white just because yellow polish pops so much more on top of white. White base makes them so much more vibrant and bold. Starting with the goggles, I'm dipping the eraser of my pencil in silver color and making two big dots close together like that. Inside the big silver dots, make a smaller white ones using a Q-tip. The last little detail for the eyes are the pupils, which I'm making using a bobby pin. Every minion also needs some overalls. I'm drawing them very simply by sticking a piece of tape across the bottom part of the nail as a guide and then I'm just coloring the tip in blue. Remove the tape and we're done. To make the mouth, we'll be using a straw. Cut a piece of straw away until you're left with half of a ring shape. Dip it in black and press it on your nail. Voila, our minion just got the biggest smile. To finish this lovely design, apply a layer of top coat. I love how cute and easy this design is. Perfect for an accent to a solid mani or you can make minions on all the nails. Let's now move to the watermelon fields. Look at the way these hardworking men are collecting watermelons so we can enjoy them. Hashtag respect. These are definitely one of my favorite summer treats, so why not having this delicious fruit on our nails? Start by applying one or two coats of red polish all over the nail as a base. Here I'll be using this sticker that is used for binders as a tool to create the perfect French tip. Stick it on like this and color the bottom third of the nail in white. Remove the sticker and wait until the white polish is completely dry. Place the sticker a bit lower now and color the tip in green. Did you know that you can also use a piece of wire for nail art? I found this one in my father's garage and it works great. So I'm just making a few dark green patches on top of the lighter green. With a toothpick dipped in black, I'm drawing some watermelon seeds. I don't like my watermelon to have too much seeds, so I'm just making a row of them. The only thing left to do is applying a top coat and we're finished. On my right hand, I'll show you how to incorporate this lovely watermelon design into an easy and pretty mix and match man. I painted my nail in red except for the thumb and middle finger which I colored green. On the ring finger we're making a watermelon in the same way as before, just that here I'm using a band-aid to make a French tip. As you can see, it works just as great as the binder stickers. This way you can create white French tips or maybe go for colored ones. Such an easy and quick way to get a fun manicure. On the middle finger I'm drawing some random dark green lines, just as the ones watermelons have. These don't have to be perfect, in fact, they should not be perfect. Using a paper clip and dotting motion, I'm drawing some curved lines along the nail. I did the same design on my thumb. Lastly with the black, give your watermelon a few seeds. On the pointer and the pinky, I'm making a small dot just to kind of bring together all the designs into a nice, fun watermelon mix and match nail art. These nails look so summery and delicious, don't they? I absolutely love nail art designs that include blue skies and white fluffy clouds. Here's a cute variation that we're making today. Start by applying a medium blue polish as a base. Time to prove that matches can work as a great dotting tool too. Just dip one in white and make a group of dots close together until you get a cloud shape. Make several clouds to fill all the empty spaces on your nail, but make sure they're big enough because we still have to draw their pretty faces on. I'm drawing faces to only three of the clouds, but you can do it on all if you prefer. With a construction nail, make a pair of eyes. For the mouth, I'm using a straw just like I did for the minion. I really love using straw for such curved lines. Like that! Our clouds are now happy and smiley. To add some extra sweetness to the clouds, I'm drawing cheeks to each of them. Just dip a match into light pink, make two dots and our clouds are finished, looking so cute! Well, one thing is missing and that's a top coat which will seal everything in place and protect the design from chipping. How gorgeous are these? Oh, I'm obsessed! Last but definitely not least, we're making this ocean design perfect for the summer days. Paint your nail in light blue. Deep down on the bottom of the sea, we have to make the blue darker and mysterious, because the light can't reach it in all its power. So let's make a gradient using three shades of blue and a cosmetic sponge. 
Dab the sponge on the nail and here it is, a beautiful blue gradient. Clean the skin around your nail with a Q-tip soaking acetone. Our ocean is now ready to be decorated with sand, fish, corals and all that cool stuff. In the corner I'm making a little golden patch for the sand. For the fish we first need to make a big dot. An awesome tool for this is a wooden dowel pin. I moved recently and I got so many of these when purchased furniture. So dip it in white and press on the nail to form a perfect dot. For the tail I'm using a toothpick and simply drawing a triangle with it. I made my fish white here but now I'm coloring it in yellow. If yellow is used directly on top of blue the color you get is normally more greenish, so white base is a must. Now our little fishy is bright and vibrant. Add some oxygen bubbles using white polish and piece of wire. For the eyes dip the toothpick in black and make a simple dot. To fill in the empty part of the nail you can draw more fish or a coral like me. For this I'll be using an old pen that stopped working. Dip it in red nail polish and draw several curved lines using stippling motion. Super easy! To make the coral look more realistic I'm making a lot of small white dots all over. Once again I'm using a construction nail to do it. I tell you guys, a garage is a great place to look for nail art tools. Lastly apply a layer of the fast drying top coat to protect this masterpiece. This design is just super interesting, full and summery. Makes me want to travel to some exotic places so badly. Here's a little recap of everything you can use for your nail art and you most probably already have at home. There's surely much else you can use to create awesome designs. Just check out the back of your drawers, I think you can find many interesting things. So these are my 5 nail art ideas using DIY tools. I really hope you like them and let me know which one was your favorite. I really like how all of them turned out but probably my faves are the penguin and the fish. Also another thing that I wanted to address is that a few days ago I noticed that we've hit 1 million subscribers which honestly feels so crazy even me saying it. I cannot believe that 1 million of you guys has hit the subscribe button on my channel and the only thing that I can say to you is thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. You guys bring so much happiness and excitement into my life. Filming videos is one of my favorite things to do in life and knowing that you guys love to watch them is just a dream come true to me. So thank you guys for letting me live my dream. I'm sending you a big virtual hug and I'll talk to you soon. Bye! Try to find alternative uses for things. All you have to do is be creative, curious and most importantly have fun with it.